hey guys it's your girl jay antoinette and welcome back to another video so in this video today guys we are going to be talking about strawberry legs now personally for myself this has affected me i have had strawberry legs for probably as long as i remember because i've always been a person who shaved um so if you guys don't know strawberry legs is basically that black appearance that you get on your legs and it may look like it's the hair coming out of follicles but guys that's actually trapped dirt sweat sebum all underneath of that dark discoloration so in this video i definitely want to talk about some things that i do some techniques that i use to just kind of help and reduce and ease that and i also just want you guys to feel comfortable because you're not the only ones that experience this so i really do hope that this video is helpful i hope these tips are going to be super helpful for you and guys without further ado let's just get straight into it but guys before i start this video i just want to remind you to give this video a thumbs up also if you're new here welcome to my channel i appreciate you stopping by don't forget to click that notification bell and that subscribe button the notification bell is going to help you so that whenever i drop a video you will definitely be notified when i drop them and that subscribe button is going to notify anytime i post a video any at all so please go ahead and do that for me because that really supports me on my channel also guys you can always link me on any other of my social media platforms i have instagram i have tiktok and i also use facebook as well so you can hit me up at any one of those channels any one of those social media sites i'll leave my instagram here so that you can see it and you can go ahead and give me a follow so guys um yeah that was just a little intermission so let's get to it so you may have experienced this before where you notice these dark discolorations on your legs and even sometimes on your arms some persons can actually experience it on their arms as well so the name of this experience that you're having it's called strawberry legs so it's given that name because of how you know on the strawberry you have those the seeds on it so it has like this darker spot on you know this beautiful red black um, platform they gave it the name that because of how it looks on the legs so strawberry legs basically guys is basically when oil dirt and bacteria and dead cells trap underneath of that hair follicle so particularly after shaving after you shave and you expose that area and you expose the hair follicle area what basically happens is that it oxidizes so even though all of that dirt and the bacteria and on everything and the dead cells are stuck inside of that hair follicle what happens is that it becomes oxidized and hence why you have that darker color so the main causes of strawberry legs well the top one guys which is why i have experienced it is shaving so probably as long as i've known myself i always shaved my legs like i always did and i used to have um some form of irritation with depilatory cream so like near and um whatever other ones there was back in the day i had really major issues with it, it used to give me some kind of allergic reaction so i really had to like resort to using those cheap disposable one use razors and those really destroyed my skin so one of the major things that shaving leaves leads to is ingrown hairs so ingrown hairs as well can cause that strawberry appearance and can also leave a lot of scarring and a lot of hyperpigmentation on areas of the skin another cause is clogged pores so if you're pores become so clogged with dead cells with oil and with dirt and bacteria they also will give that appearance of having strawberry or strawberry leg appearance folliculitis which is basically the inflammation of a follicle so if a hair follicle becomes inflamed also it's gonna have that very dark discoloration another biggie is keratosis pilaris now guys i experienced this on my arms in recent times so i completely understand like 
all about keratin spillers. So basically, it's when keratin is like stored at the top of the cells. So it gives this really raised appearance. So it kind of appears like it could be a rash at first, but it's not really a rash. It's just keratin being stored into those follicles, giving it that appearance. So um, keratin spillers is so annoying. It's it's so annoying, people. I'm not even gonna tell you a lie, but um. It also does give that strawberry skin appearance as well. Um, I did start to notice, like when I first started to, um, to to shave my arms, that I noticed it happening to my arms. But after I did some of my remedies and some of my treatments, I noticed that it went away much easier than even how I experienced it on my legs. But these are some of the more common things that actually cause strawberry legs or strawberry leg appearance. So now that you've heard all of these causes, all of these things that cause strawberry legs or strawberry skin appearance, I'm going to definitely give you some home treatments that you can use to help you with this. So the first home treatment I want to talk about, guys, is the baking soda method. Now, this is something that I have known about for a good while, but I have just recently reincorporated it into my routine. So basically what you do is you're going to put some baking soda into whether it be a cup or a glass or a plastic bag and you're just going to combine equal parts of water with it i have also tried it with apple cider vinegar which you know apple cider vinegar has a lot of antimicrobial properties so i opted to do that one time as well so what i do is just i combine it and you can use either like um an applicator or you can just use your hands and just place it onto wherever area is infected so for me i use it mainly on my legs I don't really use it on my arms because I've not really been experiencing it on my arms as much but I do put it on my entire leg and I left it there for about five to seven minutes and then after that I went into the shower and I washed it off so I would recommend that you do this at least once a day if you do have the option you can do it twice per day but baking soda does have a drying effect, so you will need a really, 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 really good moisturizer for the area that you're going to be using this on exfoliation guys now exfoliation is something that i recently had to come into like in the past couple of years because it's not really something that a lot of persons used to promote or talk about a lot or you didn't even really know about but in recent times i have been exfoliating myself like crazy whether it be my legs my arms my other parts of my body i exfoliate guys so i use the tree hot one i have not really gotten around to making my own kind of scrubs just yet so i just opt to buy the ones from tree hut um so i try my best to exfoliate whether it not be every single day but i will try and do it every other day and especially when i'm shaving so when i'm shaving my entire body whether it be my arms my legs um, my armpits, my pubic area, whatever, I am going to definitely exfoliate. Exfoliation is really, really helpful, just reducing the buildup of dead cells, dirt, bacteria entering into those follicles and causing that appearance to happen. Moisturizing, guys, is so important when it comes to skin, period. Now, when it comes to moisturizing, I use two particular moisturizers. So I do use baby oil. That is my number one go-to moisturizer. Because I have noticed that it has worked for my skin, that's why I use that. So particularly after I shower, so after I would have done like my baking soda treatment and after I would have exfoliated, while my skin is still wet, I would just go in with the um, baby oil. And I also, as another moisturizer, I use this CeraVe SNA moisturizer and it's so good, guys. It has salicylic acid in it, which salicylic acid is really good for unclogging pores and for just giving them a reduced appearance. So that is why I have opted to use this particular brand for it. And it is very lightweight. It can make you a little sweaty.
already um particularly for my skin type because i have oily skin um but it works very well and that is actually what i used on my arm to get rid of my arm acne and my keratosis pilaris on my arm so i have found it to be extremely helpful extremely moisturizing and i do apply this twice a day to my body so in the morning when i shower and in the evenings when i come home after i shower as well Okay guys, so shaving is one of the number one causes of strawberry skin. So in that case, you're going to have to find some other kinds of methods in order to help you to do hair removal that's not going to leave you with this appearance. So I have been using three different kinds of things right now. I have been using the Soft Sheen um, Magic Powder. So I particularly will tend to use this on like my arms and I will use it on my legs and I will use it um, on my underarm as well. So I would use that on that particular area. It is a, de a depilatory cream as well, but it's one that you have to make. So it's not ready made for you. Um, so I would use that on those areas. It smells really bad, guys, but it really works really well. And it really does leave my skin really nice and smooth after I'm finished with it. So that's why I like it. Now, I do get allergic reaction to um, near. So I don't really want to put it on a lot of different parts of my body. But I have found that it is fine with my um, pubic area. So I will definitely just use near only on that area. Um, no, I do use the, um, the Gillette for Women um, razor that comes with the, um, the Shea Moisture bars on it. And I find that it is really moisturizing. So sometimes, like, if I can't get to use the cream, the depilatory cream, the soft sheen one, I will just opt for um, going in with that. But I will either use conditioner on my legs or a shaving cream. I particularly use this one. It's a sensitive shaving cream. And I will just lather my entire body with that before I even try to... Um, to shave and i definitely have stopped using cheap disposable shavers guys leave that alone that's what causes the problems in the first place okay so i definitely do not do not use those cheap razors please guys okay so i don't do i don't use that anymore i just really resort to using the depilatory creams near or just that specific razor only now there are many other options so you have like epilators you do have laser therapy as well um that you can use for hair removal but i haven't tried those for myself as yet um so i have found that this has been more helpful for me so i have been using this regime and i have noticed that there is an improvement in my legs and in my arms as well so i completely i really really want you guys to just try and apply these home remedy methods before even trying anything else um another one of those things you can definitely go ahead and try is waxing i do plan to try and do a wax very soon because i definitely want to see how it works with my skin and how um how much more it will do for my skin even more than what i am doing now so i'm gonna definitely go ahead and try that out i'm gonna do like probably just do a full body wax and just see how well it works with my skin but these are definitely some home treatments that you can try at home they're very affordable very cheap baking soda is really cheap guys so you can just get a box of that and just use that so um yeah these treatments are really helpful and they absolutely work so guys i really do hope that this video was helpful for you i really hope that you can take away some tips from this and that you can use it and incorporate it into your skincare routine as well your body skincare routine um so yeah guys i really hope this was helpful please i am begging you to give this video a thumbs up if you're new here welcome to my channel once more don't forget to subscribe on your way out and share this video with your friends and families. Anybody you come in contact with, guys, share this video. 
um i really appreciate you all so much i love you all so much don't forget to connect with me on my instagram dm me tell me what kind of content you want to see leave me some comments down below guys you guys have not been really interacting with me you need to be interacting with me so leave some comments down below tell me what you want to see tell me what kind of videos you want me to put out just interact with me guys this is my platform i'm open to discussing things with you if you have any questions go ahead and leave them on my instagram Instagram as well so once again guys thank you so much for your time for your patience and for watching this video I love you all so much bye my loves